pregame.com. We have a Friday night NBA game with Eastern Conference playoff implications. This is Brad Bowers in pregame.com studios just off the Vegas trip. Talking Friday night NBA action, we got the Detroit Pistons at the Milwaukee Bucks. Fez, who do you like in this matchup and why? We're taping Wednesday night. There's no spread yet on the line. But I will take Milwaukee minus eight or less. It's all about Milwaukee being undervalued in the betting marketplace. Milwaukee was headed for the lottery. They were 4-14 and 14 straight up early in February. Their season looked to be a loss season, and they have turned the switch on. They are currently on a 13-3 and three red-hot straight-up streak. Now, not only is Milwaukee on a 13-3 and straight-up streak, but for our purposes, let's talk against the spread. They're 11-5 and five against the spread their last 16 games. Got to be honest with you, Fez, what are you, seizing the, what are you seeing to cause this improvement? One key player, an under-the-radar player, Chris Middleton, came back from injury since he has come back. Back to the lineup. This team is 16 and five straight up. Now you talk about. Let's take it back to the start of this run, early February. A lot of uh, pundits out there, a lot of the general betting public wrote this team off because of a key injury to Jabari Parker. Uh, what have you seen since then as far as Jabari Parker is concerned that has caused this improvement? So Jabari Parker, 20 points per game from Duke, public player, and he goes out and you're like. That's it. They're done. And I thought the same as well. And Chris Middleton, he's a guard. Park, of course, is a forward. But the team is better. I don't know exact specifics and matchups as to why it is, but they most certainly are playing better and have better chemistry. And I think that the team had a couple games after Parker got hurt where they're like, well, that's it. And all of a sudden they realized, hey, we're better now. All right, let's talk about your second main handicap. Yeah, second main handicap is Detroit is overrated. This is a team that's been competing for the playoffs all year long. The wheels have come off. They've been playing horribly. It was put up or shut up. Last night, their coach said, we need this win to stay in the playoff hunt. And they had the game won. And they gave it away. Yeah, of course, against Miami. Miami gets a last-second shot at the, at the buzzer. Now, it's also a Detroit team dealing with a lot of distractions. Their point guard, Reggie Jackson, has actually been sat. There's a lot of rumors flying around there. Is that the major reason why Detroit's won and eight straight up their last nine games? I think it is. I think Reggie Jackson and the distractions, five years, $80 million, second year of the contract. His future with the organization is unclear. He says he wants to play. The team wants to go ahead and apparently and sit him now. And it's pretty clear to me that that signals that the white flag is being raised on their season. Speaking of the white flag, let's wave it on this video and make it official. <laughs> Very good. Let's make it official. My pre-opener handicap, no line out yet. We're taping Wednesday. I'll take Milwaukee minus eight or less. Milwaukee is underrated due to a bad run in January. They're now on a red-hot 13-3 and three run, and they're a better team with Chris Middleton in and Jabari Parker out for the year. Detroit is overrated. Their playoff hopes have faded. The benching of point guard Reggie Jackson shows the white flag is up. The Fez Mass says back Milwaukee minus eight or less. More videos at pregame.com.